before opening an account. It was Monday and the people working in the bank were so busy with their work that I saw an illiterate asking for help to get a form filled. He was ignored by the bank employees as well as the public since he looked strange to them. Then I went near him and asked him what he wants. He replied that he wanted to fill the withdrawal form. I took pity on him and got the form, filled it with the documents he had and gave it to him. He thanked me heartily and finally he got the money he needed. This incident had an impact on me. At first in PBL, when we started searching for problem statements, we thought of doing a project that should serve our society. Then this problem came to my mind and I proposed this problem to my teammates. To my surprise, everyone liked this idea and we started our project. And we thought of developing a form filling assistant which would be a software module aimed at illiterate and the visually impaired of our country, specifically meant for the form used in the banking sector. We also wanted it to support the usage of multiple languages. As considering these hardships faced by the illiterate people, we made it clear to design a device that duly fills form with the document produced automatically. Our device telephony has a software encoded in Python to aid people fill forms in banks without other help. Basically, the software module comprises of OCR technology using Google Cloud Vision API to extract the details from the documents provided by the user and a speech recognition and text-to-speech module to get the non-extractable de uh, details like amount to be deposited in their native language and convert it to the default uh, banking language say English. After receiving all the details necessary, they are given a specific variable name and designated to the form using coordinates provided. Hello everyone, now I am going to show you how to use a software module for filling a deposit slip since it requires some maximum data such as account number, mobile number, PAN number, etc. The documents that are mandatory for filling our form are Aadhaar card and the respective bank passport. This is the deposit slip that our software module is going to fill accurately. Firstly, we are going to execute the modules that we import for processing. Secondly, we are going to execute the modules that ultimately work on optical character recognition, speech recognition, data extraction and placing the data in the appropriate position. Let's see how it works. Ungal Tolai Pesi in Nate Solunkal Tonothan Bada, Napatinale, Irvatanji, Irvatenda, Panigal Padrona Yabadabu Panam deposit say a window Nala Irtain We can see almost all the data were extracted from the documents we provide. Only the unknown data like deposit amount and the mobile number are extracted through speech recognition. We can see the OZR text of Aadhaar card, bank passbook and PAN card and the overall data in a Python dictionary that is being displayed here. Finally, we can see the filled template of the deposit slip with the data placed at the accurate positions. The software model can also be used for filling bank checks, withdrawal slip and the demand draft which are not shown here. The usage of text block for translation helps a user provide speech inputs in the language he or she is comfortable with. Thus, the speech interface along with the translator provides a user-friendly environment. Modules providing the highest levels of accuracy were chosen for each of the processes involved. The OCR technology helps avoid spelling mistakes and errors due to varied pronunciations apart from reducing the amount of data that otherwise had to be fed orally. The software aims at reducing the dependency of the user on other people. It allows the user to have considerable control over the data which earlier was to be shared to get the forms filled, therefore enhancing the security of money and other sensitive data of the user.